New details today in the mysterious death of a coroner's autopsy technician. There are reports that the 61-year-old may have died of poisoning. KCAL 9's Randy Page is live at the LA County Coroner's Office in Boyle Heights to show us what investigators know so far. Randy. Lena, I must tell you, this has been a very difficult case here in the coroner's office. This is the first time in recent memory they find themselves investigating the death of one of their own. This is Michael Cormier, seen here in a YouTube video from several years ago, a veteran forensic technician for the L.A. County Coroner's Office who devoted much of his life to solving the mystery of unsolved deaths. Today, his death is presenting his friends and colleagues at the Coroner's Office with a mystery of its own. Cormier died a week ago after complaining of severe stomach pains. Close friend, former LAPD officer Armand Belderain spoke to him two days before he died. When I called him, he was at Kaiser in Panorama City. He had told me that uh, he was having stomach pains, uh, and he had admitted himself at, the, at Kaiser. And I believe they kept him overnight, and he was released the following day. And then a couple of days later, he was back. A couple of days later, I got a phone call from a mutual friend who told me that Michael was at Providence St. Joseph's not doing too well. Sources at the coroner's department tell us Cormier was well respected and took his work very seriously. A man known to be meticulous, determined to find the cause of death in order to provide families with answers and some form of peace. Sources also tell us Cormier was a big man with a big heart. The job sometimes wore on him after dealing with so many senseless deaths. A lot of times he would call me and tell me that uh, to get that sense of peace, he would go to the cemetery and spend time with the Lord to allow God to comfort, to soften his heart. Belderain says Cormier was a devout Christian. He says he believes his close friend has found peace. As for the mystery surrounding his death? I think we should give the LAPD the benefit, allow them to do their full and thorough investigation, which I believe they will. And let's wait for the coroner's office and their toxicology report. And I know that takes a while as well. And then we can, we'll have the, the issue settled in our hearts once and for all. Now, law enforcement sources have told us that arsenic may in some way be involved in this case. How is unclear. We do know that real answers in this case will most likely not be known until the toxicology reports are in. That is best, at best, one or two months away. Live in Boyle Heights, Randy Page, KCAL 9 News.